Dear students, welcome back again. Today we are going to study the third chapter of history, NCRT from Gathering to Growing Food. In the last chapter we discussed three important stone ages. We also discussed in detail about the three stone ages. The most important of three is the Neolithic age. Now, why do we need to study this chapter? Or we can say, what is the objective of studying this chapter? The main objective is to know how and why the new stone age is important. We'll also be studying the archaeological evidences, which proves that early human was no more a nomad. He learned the ways by which his life became easy, that all we will be understanding by studying the three important Neolithic sites as described in the chapter. For now, in this video, we'll be covering the two important points, that is the importance of Neolithic age and the effects of the introduction of farming and herding. We will study in detail about the Neolithic age. Why? Because this is the final stage of cultural evolution or technological development. Let us discuss the important characteristic of the Neolithic age, which is also known as the Neolithic Revolution, because this was the period of Stone Age in which early humans started leading a settled life and he turned into a farmer and herder, or we can say producer from wanderer or hunter or gatherer. Thus, the Neolithic Age can be defined as the age of domestication of animals and plants. The Neolithic Revolution, also called the Agricultural Revolution, marked the transition in human history from small nomadic bands of hunter-gatherers to large agricultural settlements. Domestication or livestock revolution is a process by which the farmers select your desirable traits for breeding successive generation of animals. Not only the animals, they also selected the crops that harvested easily. The, new the important invention of this period was pottery making. Pottery was made by hand from clay then baked in a fire. It was used for a number of purposes. It is believed that the invention of the wheel that was again considered an important invention of this period led to the making of the pottery. The tools of the Neolithic age were much smaller and more refined. Stone was given better shape and some tools were fitted with handles, example spears, axe, sickles, arrows, etc. Now the question arises, how did early humans become farmer and herders? When people about 5 to 10,000 years ago saw the natural processes of the growth of plants, falling of seeds from fruits and then sprouting into more plant, they started collecting seeds and protecting them from animals and birds. And this is how they became farmers. They also started keeping and rearing animals such as dogs, sheep, goats, pigs, etc. This is known as herding. Different plants are grown in different regions and different time period as per their natural conditions. Similarly, different animals also need different environments to live and grow. And this is how the early humans started settling themselves into the different regions. Change from nomads to native, or we can say a new way of life. As growing of plant needs time, people who started farming began staying in one place for long periods of time. They protected the plants, watered, weeded, and tilled the soil and ultimately harvested the crop after some months or years. Now where, where, where they were keeping these harvested crops? So we have already discussed in the previous section that the pottery making would turn out to be an important invention of this period. So they started storing these crops, right, both food and seed in large pots, baskets and underground pits. We can also think of animals as a store of food. Because if they are reared properly, they can give us food, such as milk, eggs, for a long time. Till now we have understood the importance of the Neolithic age. Now we are at the stage to understand the effects of the Neolithic Revolution. It is very clear till now that the Neolithic Age led to the settled life of the early humans. Agriculture, which became an important occupation of that time, provided the regular supply of food. Domestication of animals added a steady source of meat, milk and wool. Animals could also be used to do work. Last but not least, 
It was the single most important development in human history, which led to the formation of villages and civilization. Now, dear children, I'm going to see you in the next session where we will be discussing about the important Neolithic sites. Thank you so much.